Yo, good morning traders and welcome back to Daily Forex Market Analysis. It's already the Wednesday, the 5th of June 2019 and it's a little bit late later than I do my start when I start my morning analysis but it's before my morning session so it is okay. So we will start with the USD CAD and as if you can see and if you're trading harmonic patterns on hour 4, I'm not trading those on hour 4 but if you are here is one pattern so which is a cipher high probability pattern in general high probability pattern if you're trading this kind of patterns here it is one beautiful pattern and you can get a better entry if you check it out right here now uh let's dig into our one so what do we have on our one nothing <laughs> It would be nothing because yeah on our four it is what it is on our one just bearish movement so besides the hour four pattern there, there is nothing on a daily we are slowly moving at a, we are in some kind of a i would dare to say probably bullish trend because we are we were getting higher highs higher closes and here i would say yeah it could be it could be a bullish it is actually let's see yeah one could argue this is a bullish trend if you're uh, checking this out higher high higher high higher high pull back and now we are pushing back to retest this high so if you analyze it like this and then you again on a daily you have a big ass uh, I, I think this is gonna be a bad well you, you might have a bad and a garly nah none of it <laughs> Let's see, Gartley, maybe Gar no, 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 no. I was I was looking at uh, this X to A, A to B, B to C, or X to A, uh, B X to A, B to C, X to A, A to B, B to C, and C to D. But none of it, uh, none of it. This didn't touch the fifty percent uh, or sixty one, and then uh, we didn't get a pattern. But yeah, so I was thinking maybe that the, uh, up here would be a good shorting opportunity, but it's not. So moving down the time frame, this surfer looks really, really decent because it's gonna retest this structure level here. And if you put a line right there, like like like, like here, actually, it shift, uh, uh, it respected the line, it, it respected this price level here, here, fake breakout here, coming to reset it, retested it here respected it here uh let's see on a daily maybe we have respected it here here so it's it's a decent level to look at respected it here price action respected it here so it's a decent level of structure so you need to it would be if i'm trading and if i know my expectancy and everything for this strategy i would probably be taking this okay so let's just move quicker into the aussie cat aussie cat hour one uh, I'll be waiting today for the patterns. Uh, it's a beautiful X to A lag. So whatever happens, I will just be looking at the patterns uh, because this, for me, it's in a bullish trend consolidation, some kind of a, and we have some kind of a bad pattern right here. So this is what I'm waiting for the USD CAD, Aussie CAD. Uh, I think I can trade this on this pair. Bad needs to go overbought and oversold and i can take the pattern so that's that's what i'm waiting today on aussie usd i don't see any strategies as you can see we are rallying up on our one hour one is my time frame for trading pattern so obviously we're not gonna find one just as easy uh okay euro dollar uh what do we have here i traded blue my gartley away uh nothing consolidation at the top on our four you have a gartley so if you're in that gartley good for you as well it's a big gartley uh risk of i don't know let's let's just check it out i don't want to say on top of my head and then be wrong uh let's see yeah see so we almost got stopped out i mean almost L looks like like yeah seven pips almost a uh, price rallied up to hit our stop 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 price levels but then uh rolled over and now we see a battle between buyers and sellers you should be in a drawdown if you took it on an hour four uh now let's check out the daily so let's let's mark up our line here entry line and let's check the daily how does daily candle looks like 
shows a resistance, shows a shooting star, tells a story. So there is a chance that we will get some kind of a retest or just a rollover today and you would hit your targets. It looks good because it's overbought, slightly over 70. So there is a chance of it rolling over. Okay, so pound dollar, nothing, nothing here for me. Let's see. Maybe some this big, but I don't think this is. Yeah, it's a big bat. It's actually a big bat pattern. Look, <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Got some kind of a cold or something. Okay, XUA. Oh, for Christ's sake. XUA, A to B, B to C here, and then we have a CD completion where we need to have a pattern not go overbought over sold over 80 and we are forming some kind of a double top here if you check it out so but it's not close to it's not to my entry so i i need to set my how far away it's 20 pips away i'll set up my uh price alert here at the ask level like a few pips before it so that i can see and uh, set up my pending order just a time if it comes to this price level right here uh, it, it will it offers really decent risk to reward I think so 47 pips of risk and it will be around 63 pips of reward and 104 pips of reward for targets too now uh, let's check it out this would be better saw on our four X to A, A to B, B to C, and CD completion. Okay, so this is a decent trade that I, I'm kind of looking forward to it because I've been drawing down for quite some time and it's kind of depressing. Uh, for this price level, what is why, why is this line marked up here? Because of a daily structure, right, right, right. Okay, so what do I expect here is actually price to push up a little bit more in this kill zone here that you can see uh, on our one actually anywhere in this kill zone i'm expecting price action to push at and then if i were to trade it uh, i will look for short opportunities here although we did retest the low i think we can go lower until this price point here and with that being said we have a quality opportunity on our four on our one apart on me on pound dollar on a bad pattern forming a double top hope it will spike up uh, pen, uh, set my pending orders and then I roll over to hit bottom my targets, but we will see we, all, we are far 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 away from it and Guys, that's kind of it without that with with that being said uh, I don't have anything else to say in this morning session on this if you like this kind of a content Please consider subscribing and hope to see you soon in the afternoon session, which is coming right up Thank you and bye bye Hi, hi, traders, and welcome back to the afternoon session of this June the 5th of in 2019. And as we can see, so let's go straight into my portfolio on the USD CAD. If you are trading this one, you are in this big ass cipher. Currently suffering a little bit of a drawdown, but it is what it is. 23 pips with a maximum risk, risk of four, 65 pips. I did not take this trade because it's an hour four time frame, not hour one and uh, I did not backtest it so that that's the thing that I mentioned in the morning session uh, besides this on our one has there has been nothing for me here so yeah not no trades on this pair Aussie cat this Gartley did not happen so it might happen tomorrow but today it did not happen so I did not take this trade so let's move forward Aussie USD just moving, rallying up, rallying up, uh, rolling over, rallying up. So it's not, it didn't move much. I don't see any patterns for me here. Did not take anything here uh, today. Euro dollar, the big Gartley on our four got stopped out and currently its price action is rolling over. Okay, uh, it stopped out, rolling over. So we will see what's going to happen. I did not get engaged with it. If you did, you kind of lost 80 pips right here. Uh, pound dollar uh i did get engaged in this bad pattern per my rules i got activated at um what time at noon at noon mine time uh, noon gmt time and as you can see price action uh came to the resistance kind of started slow moving down and now it, there is a battle between buyers and sellers i do hope sellers did try to push the price down as you can see here big week for 20 pips uh, roughly 15 pips of profit 
but buyers showed up and currently are pushing price up but now sellers are kind of showing up we'll see what's gonna happen i do hope it's gonna win uh with that being said i have to adjust my target slightly because price action obviously moved against me so here we are now the target one is at a maximum what is it uh 50 pips and a target two is at a 94 pips still standing to make a good profit if both of those, those targets get hit but you never know so i it looks like this will be an overnight hold and we will see what's going to happen tomorrow pound yen just i'm still expecting as i said in the morning session still expecting price action to come into this skill zone uh, and then maybe right now he's making some kind of a double top i would say but not at the level where i would be interested in, in shorting it so i would still say like my prediction is that my price action will go into this zone we might get some kind of reaction show and, and sellers might show up and then they might push the price down to this level as said in the morning session and with that being said kind of this brings us to the end of this today's session and i want to thank you for sticking until the end of this session uh if you're interested in this kind of content and if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing i do this daily market analysis and my follow-up on my trades and everything basically on a daily basis when we get some kind of an action such as as we did today also as you can see on the screen there is an ebook that i wrote it's completely free so you can follow that link or you can uh, click on a link in the description put in your details and join the our free traders community and a free ebook which will help you help you get started or if you're a seasoned trader i believe there is a little bit of everything for everybody in that ebook so looking forward for having you in a community and you downloading that book with that being said, I want to thank you for sticking until the end of this video and hope to see you soon in the next one. Thank you and bye-bye.